During my years of study, McCoy Tanner is always the person I'd find myself transcribing or checking out the most. And suffice to say that there's just something special about him. I don't know what it is, but I think what I'm going to be talking about today is one of those things that just kind of, when you play it, it sort of opens and expands the sound and it's a really, really cool idea. So let's jump straight into it. Koi Tane, um, well, the quartet actually, they were using, making use of modal interchange, if you will call it that. This idea of borrowing chords from certain modes within the same key. So, in the case of my favorite thing, it's E minor, but they also use E Ionian, which would be E major. And they change that mode, which we will find in the B section. In the beginning, Mokoi Tane sort of does like an intro or comp thing. Here you just place E minor 11, which will be E, G, B, D, F sharp and A in root position style. And then he goes up to F sharp minor 11, which F sharp minor 11 is not diatonic to E minor, okay? Um, and what they are actually doing is that they are taking the F sharp from the E major scale. So they do the same for the B section but over E major 9 and McCoy Tana also really loves to use rootless left hand voicings and then lets his right hand do the work here on this side for instance um, in the record he stays a lot on on the 5 this sort of pattern. The five would be the B, so we do. So yeah, I'm moving. This is a upper extension of E major, starting from the third. So G sharp, B, D sharp, and F sharp, and then the upper extension of the F sharp minor eleven chord will be A, C sharp, E, and G sharp, and then I'm just keeping. Uh, B at the top, the closed uh, position six. McCoy Tanner didn't really improvise, you know, like bebop. He sort of played more ideas, riffs, and patterns, and um, things like that, which sort of really works with the style. So you might want to do that when you play this. You know, he does things like. Same for the minor. Now what you heard me play in the intro was basically, as I said, they, they sort of change modes a lot. So in the intro, McCoy isn't really playing E minor to F sharp minor 11 is playing E minor and a sort of F ma major 7 triad um, if I was listening correctly he he actually does it up here he plays it up here the upper extension um, and then he sort of plays like a A minor or C major chord over here so it does And 
this chord is a C major sharp 11. And it's got the 13th in there as well. Or could also have the G in there. Now you're asking me, where else can we use this idea? And there are many places and I'm going to show you. It's best to use it when the bassist is pedaling a lot. So for a song like... really well when you are improvising you've got the same major chord for the longest time and it works particularly well when you've got a minor chord that's going on for the longest time when you sort of change it to major just like how they did in my favorite things you change it to major and you also move to the two that works So guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And give this video a like. Share it with anyone who likes Mkoi Taina. Um, I'll see you again in the next video.